This thing is called a U-scooter. Basically, it's a souped up electric version of that Razor scooter you had when you were a kid. It costs $1,000, but for that $1,000, you get a motor that'll go 18 miles an hour. That doesn't sound like much, but on this thing, it feels crazy fast. It's powered by a battery, but it has a neat regenerative braking system that charges it every time you slow down, which once you get going on this thing, you won't do often. A lot of people are excited about scooters like this. They think these, along with the bigger Vespa style ones from Gogoro and other companies, can either supplement or even replace cars in big, dense cities. Basically, unlike a bike, this thing can fold up and go underneath a train seat or in a trunk of a car. It weighs 24 pounds, so you're still not gonna wanna carry it too much. But it can go basically anywhere with you. Unlike, say, a hoverboard, a scooter can handle hills and bumpy roads. It can hop curbs and it's good at weaving through traffic. And the company that makes it says it won't catch on fire. So it's got that going for it, which is nice. Here's how it works. The throttle is controlled by your right thumb and the brakes with your left. It's much more fun on an empty road or in a bike lane where you can really turn it loose. The only awfully awkward part of the whole experience is the folding. You have this little red tongue which you press down to unlock the hinge but you also have to press the handlebars forward and the whole thing becomes a two hands and a foot job and it's just weird. Other than that, it's a pretty simple, smooth ride. You've got a headlight on here if you need it, plus this really awful sounding horn. And if all else fails, it's a lot easier to just jump off than on a bike. I like this thing. The idea of turning my long walk to work into a quick scoot seems pretty great. But here's the problem. It's really, really hard to look cool on a scooter. And when you ride this thing, people hate you. You're always in somebody's way. I hate scooter people, and now I've become one. I guess all I can hope for now is that everyone gets one of these, and then we're all scooter people. And who knows, it could happen.